Hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel. I'll be sharing my lockdown mouth watering puff, puff recipe with you all and I'll be showing you guys how you can mold it with your fingers or as in like to end up with this rounded shape, not your hands, just your fingers. And this is me, you know, enjoying my hot puff puff, like this puff puff was very, very sweet. So guys, these are my dry ingredients. I have flour, cayenne pepper and I have nutmeg. I'm going to be adding my sugar now. So what I'm doing now is just adding my dry ingredients. So I'll go ahead and add my sugar. The quantities I used for the ingredients in this video is in my description box. And then I'm adding my salt now to taste. What I'm now going to do is mix this up. You can use whatever you have to mix, your spatula, whatever you have. Ensure that you mix very, very well. So that by the time you make your puff puff, you're not having sugar on one side, pepper on one side. You know, salt one side, you know, mix it very, very well. Now, I'm going to move to my yeast. In order to, you know, ensure that our dough rises, I need to proof my yeast. So, in here, I have sugar and yeast. And then, this is the yeast that I mostly find in baking stores here in Nigeria. So, it's called Royal Instant Dry Yeast. But I've realized that in order to use this yeast, I need to proof it. So, I'll go ahead and add my water now and i'm adding room temperature water you can go ahead with warm water but i tried warm water one time it seems that the warm water was too hot for the yeast so i'll just go ahead and mix this and then i'll close it up and you know leave it on my kitchen table some people suggest that you place it in a warm you know environment but my kitchen is warm this place is warm so i just left it there for about 10 minutes and after 10 minutes this is what we have so if your yeast doesn't end up like this then throw it away and start again so this is what i have now you can see how foamy it is at the top we know that yes this yeast has been activated for making the puff puff so i'll just go ahead and pour it right there and then mix it up so if your yeast does not come out like this it has not been activated for you know this puff puff at all so just go ahead and you know Add your sugar, add your yeast, and then add your water. Leave it for about 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and mix this up. And you will see that I still need to add more water to this because we want to end up with sort of like a sticky dough. So the quantity of water I used, I'm going to put it in the description box as well. So this is what I have. Add more water again, mix it up. Like I said, we need to end up with sort of like a sticky, stretchy dough. So you can see how stretchy the dough looks like. We want our dough to be stretchy like this. And once that is achieved, I'll go ahead and cover this up for 45 minutes to 1 hour and leave on my kitchen table. You can go ahead and put this in a warm place. So after 45 minutes, this is what my dough looks like. And after 1 hour... This is what it looks like. So I'm going to take off the lid and mix the dough up to remove the trapped air. And then we are ready to fry our puff puff. But before frying, guys, I'll be needing some vegetable oil to grease my fingers to help me, you know, mold the puff puff well. Meanwhile, I've placed some oil on my cooker. We, we need to fry with hot oil. If your oil is not hot enough, you are going to end up with oil-soaked puff puff. So I'm greasing my fingers now and then what I'm going to do now is scoop some dough like so and then I'll be molding this one I've scooped with just the edge of my fingers. So I just mold and then drop. Very easy. Scoop, you know, mold as if I'm pinching the bottom of the dough and then I just drop like so. So I scoop. I mold, I scoop, I mold, pinch the bottom, and then drop. So you can see that my puff puff is kind of coming out, you know, rounded. Scoop, pinch, and drop. Or scoop, mold, pinch, and drop. So guys, my puff puff is getting ready. So once it has achieved this color, it is ready to get out of the hot oil. So I'll just go ahead and take these ones out. And if your puff puff is misbehaving, in the oil just go ahead and turn it like so and then use your colander to press it down it's going to behave itself so just go ahead and do that and guys if you want to fry bigger balls all you need to do is scoop a larger size dough like so mold pinch and drop 
So just scoop a larger size dough, mold like so, pinch, and then drop. And that's it, guys. That's how I fry my puff puff. And you can see that the shape is not so irregular. So you can go ahead and try this, guys, and let me know how you know it goes. I'll just go ahead and fry the rest of the dough. And we are ready to eat this. I feel like eating this right from the cooker. <laughs> so this is what we have, guys. This is what our puff puff looks like. And it is ready to serve. And guys, I just can't wait to devour this. Like, see how beautiful, how, see the shape, self. see the color. Like, I'm ready to devour this. It is like ready to just go into my stomach. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please remember to subscribe to our channel. Remember to like this video. And Siska will be seeing you guys in her next video. Bye guys. Why am I talking with the third person, Seth? Bye guys. I'll be seeing you guys in my next video.